Good, very late morning. I thought it was actually afternoon because I didn't set the one clock in the room here. But uh, yeah, it is 11.51 and it's a brisk one today. I think right now it's like 50 degrees outside. But puppies are all snoozing away here. Just got done cleaning up some things, putting some my pants back up in the closet. And of course, if this gimbal would cooperate, it would be nice. But uh, nonetheless, puppies are sleeping. Uh, been up since like, I don't know, a little after 8 o'clock. Didn't go to bed until 2.30 and was still up at 3 a.m. Waiting on, well, I did kind of doze off for a few minutes. I was waiting on Tim to get home last night. I didn't want <clears throat> to fall asleep too much. I wanted to make sure he got home safe because he did catch a deer the other night. And I think I mentioned that. The only thing he got out of it, deer was dead. Um, but he broke his turn signal light on the left side of his truck. So... Yeah, he was telling me yesterday the SD card he ordered, the Samsung <clears throat> Pro Plus like I have in this one and in the 5 Pro, um, it wouldn't format. He kept telling him that there was something wrong with it, so he had to get a replacement. So he has no memory card in his uh, Action 4 right now. And uh, speaking of actions, I'm still seeing that the doors are sitting in New Jersey, waiting for the delivery partner to UP USPS to take delivery of them. So, um, video is exported, so I gotta get this going to upload. Um, right now I'm watching Ken Slovis. Uh, this is an older video, one month ago, but I dig it forward. Just got those videos watched. Um, okay, so I exported, so I need to upload. I tried again today with the drone, and the problem I have is so there's a calibration thing that you can bring up dji assistant and it's supposed to have the sensors are supposed to have a screen and they're supposed to be able to see my screens are black and when i connected it to the controller it basically told me to contact dji for support because the sensors are basically burned out i think they're saying that they're connected but there's no image coming through, so cannot, cannot. The Mavic 2 is shot. Told Mike, I said, well, I'm going to give this to you. We can put it on eBay for parts. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't, it's not worth trying to, I don't think it's worth for me trying to get it fixed. Maybe if somebody else has a boatload of money, they can get it fixed, but I cannot, so. Game plan is I do have a free Whopper. Um at sheet or at uh, mcdonald's no i have free i have a free big mac wow a free big mac at, at mcdonald's so that's kind of my why did it do that uh, let's rename this and copy um trying to do two things at once here sorry yeah i changed all kinds of because someone mentioned that if you change your resolution on your screen and it'll only do it with the mac it will not do it with the tv so I had to unplug the TV for a little bit. And uh, yeah, the Mavic's a no-go. It sucks, it really does, because you know, I'd love to have gotten that back up and flying, but the other problem is the camera doesn't focus anymore. You click it and it does not. Whatever, it probably seized up inside there. From being wet, so. And I was looking on Amazon for like, you know, Okay, refurbished one, the the the, the mini fours. They're giving you like f not even forty. They're giving you like forty five dollars off a refurbished. No, that's if it was like a hundred and fifty dollars off, I'd probably just say screw it and grab one. And the funny thing is, the base model um, actually gives you a sixty dollar discount. But then the combo kit gives you 45. The same thing happened with Best Buy. Like the highest up one with the plus batteries, which I don't want, gives you the most discount. And it's like, I don't want those batteries. I can't fly with those batteries. I have to register with those batteries. It's just to be able to go up in the air, get a, you know, get a sunset, you know, maybe get a little bit of an aerial from where we're adventuring if I'm allowed to fly. And that's it. So, it, and like I said, no more flying over water. No more flying near trees. No more flying right now. That's the way it goes. So, 
All right, 11.57, let's see what we are up to. I don't think it's supposed to get very warm today. It's not so far, that's for sure. All right, we are showing 52 and 11 degrees Celsius, so a little on the cooler side. I'm thinking I want to stop at Sheets um, and then McDonald's, I think, on the way home, but I think think we're gonna maybe go over loyal sock and do that little stream trail it's probably drained really bad might be some leaves over there i don't know but it's something short because mateo doesn't need any big adventures just to give him a little ride and just to get us out of the house for a few minutes oh that was the other thing so 2.7k 60 frames per second horizon steady that basically means you can flip the camera completely upside down but i have decided i think i'm going to do dry videos in 4k 60 horizon balance because that gives you a 45 degree angle and it'll imitate the pocket three with the gimbal because the camera will stay steady but then everything else will kind of move so i did both yesterday now i did a night drive 2.7k at night and it's, it's on on the grainy side so but if anybody's curious on how to make the action five or action four look kind of like the gimbal yeah put it on horizon balance and uh in a drive video and i'll give you that motion all right so we try to use the gimbal last night to take a photo and i had some problems with this last night i had the motors were chattering so i think i might have had the mount a little bit off but in the dark i couldn't tell so do i need to like draw a box over her there it is. Oh, where are you going? What are you doing? Wow. Okay, don't do that. Okay, stop that. Oh my god, stop that. <laughs> and then when we got home, I dropped it. That's it. So if anybody's wondering what I'm talking about, the OM6. Yeah, when we got out of the car, it fell out. But I didn't realize that the little magnet piece, you can actually adjust it up and down on the back side. And when I tried to take a shot, I figured, well, I'll put it on this and see if it works. And the motor was gone. Like a little machine gun. So, all right, we're going to get out of the house. We haven't done anything all day long. Right now, you are filming on the native app. Or the, not the native, but the, the Nemo app. So, all these probably crap. I don't know where the button is even. And I keep hitting the gimbal. All right, second time I've been outside because I just ran trash out. And now I'm getting the kids out for a quick little pee-pee before we head out. Do a couple stops. Like I said, I think we're just going to do that little little sock park over there. Uh, to uh, just get a little outing. Nothing major. Because little man needs break. I need a break. I took another nap with Priya. I laid down with her. I said 10 minutes and then we snuggled up for a little bit. She laid back down and I fell asleep. So it's a little bit after. I think it's going for 2 o'clock. 1.53. I am doing so well today. And I see maintenance hasn't come back through and cleaned up any of the mess yet. Oh, that's right. It is what it is. So I do have the Action 5 with me, of course, just in case. But I want to do a, a drive test um, with this one on Horizon Balance and against the gimbal. Since I have both mounts now set up in the car, it's going to be a little different angles, but nonetheless, I want to see how similar. So it'll be a little bit of a side-by-side -side driving test uh, just to show anybody. I might actually post it as a separate video on how to kind of simulate a gimbal with the Action 5. So if anybody's uh, out there in the world is curious on how to get that, that look, what to do. So I think it's going to work. I think it worked last night. I, I mean... When I see them side by side, we'll get a better understanding of how how it simulates being on a gimbal in a way. Tim keeps talking about gimbal for his Action 4. I'm like, no. <laughs> they make them. They, someone reached out to me about getting one and testing it for the channel. I responded back to him and never heard another word. So... I'm not going to sit there and keep hounding you. You asked me, I said yes, and then you didn't respond. So the doors has got an update 
the doors are in Waynesport and they're supposed to be delivered today yet. Ah, oh, it'd be so great. Our mailman doesn't come usually till 5.30 and it's like two o'clock. So I don't know if that's gonna be on like a late delivery or something, cause it says it'll be here by 9 p.m. So I don't know what they're gonna do, but I'm excited to put a door back on that Action 5. Hop in. All right, I gotta help him. Hello everybody in internet land. So we are going to face off the Pocket 3 versus the Action 5 Pro. And what I'm trying to accomplish here with this video is making the Action 5 seem gimbal-like. So I'm putting it on Horizon Balance 4K60 standard D-Warp. Um, that gives you the 17 millimeter lens versus the 20 millimeter lens on the Pocket 3 to try to give you like when you go through turns and stuff it gives you the lean because this will go 45 degrees before it starts to actually angle the camera we'll see how this works i tried last night also with horizon steady that's 2.7k you don't get as high a resolution um for anybody interested in trying to make your action 5 potentially feel like it has a gimbal in the car or on a motorcycle we're gonna see how this works out and uh, if you want to give it a try and let me know what you think let me know. So, anybody interested in my mount, I am running an Osmo suction mount with a cool head, then an adapter for the Core 20 thread into a DJI mount. And this guy here is a Pulanzi on a bike bicycle mount for the pocket, and it's upside down, and it will film that way. Of course, the screen's upside down, but that's fine. Both running in 4K60, so uh, enjoy the video. Also to note, I do have the GPS remote for the Action 5. So you will have the data. You transfer that over to your phone, set on your dashboard, so you'll be able to see the speed and everything with the Action 5, which gives you a little more detail in your in your driving videos. Very nice handle or a very nice remote to have. Uh, Apple Watch, I can't get the data to come over. If anybody else has had luck, let me know in the comments. But I tried it, and it basically says there's no data to, uh, to send you. And I just used the short band, wrapped it around the action handle. And then I have my drone light on my action handle as well. Uh, I'm going to put video descriptions. I believe this is already in the video description. Um, but this is a very nice vlogging kit. I have it faced toward me, so if it's dark outside, I can light myself, and I usually wear a headlamp when I'm walking the dogs.
It's been a little bit since we've come over to Callie's garden. Um, I believe we've read this before, 2019, uh, two and a half year old battering with patriotic cancer that, and she passed away. Um, oh, it was established, but she was what? 10 years old, 2008 till 18. So not quite, she, she was nine, that's sad. But I always love coming through this little archway here and getting, getting pulled by Priya. All right, our little drive test video is done. Oh, they got mums, they did nice decorations. It's just so cute over here. And we do see a couple trees down the pathway. Come Priya, can we go this way? Can we go the long way? My tail's gonna go pee on a pumpkin. No, you guys can't go different ways, guys. Come on, Mateo, come on. Can't go different ways. I know the Action 4 had made its way over here. Pockets made its way over here. And the Action 5, but right now we're on the Pocket 3, so. I'll probably switch around a little bit to get some maybe angles of what's lack of creek there is. I mean, if the Susquehanna is as low as it is, then I'm sure this is a trickle. Oh, goody. Boom, boom. Terry noticed this the one time we were here, but they have like a little book thing where you can swap out, bring a book and take a book. And because uh, I guess she really liked to read. So it's kind of a cool thing. Come here, guys. You piddling? Okay. That's two piddles already, Priya. This is when it is flowing up here, which this is like an absolute trickle right now. My goodness. Absolute trickle. It would be helpful if I was actually aiming down. Oh, uh, yeah. But there is a little bit of a rocky base here that gets some rapids. Boy, that's almost blocked up there. Uh, I don't know. It's it's not much, but it, it's a cute little path, and it's an easy walk for the little guy right now. He needs a, needs a break from the roughness. Yesterday was a little too rough. All right. Already getting wrapped up. Yeah, they definitely did this really neat little walkover bridge. Never actually seen water come through here, even in the high high flow. But we've seen it up pretty high. This is the lowest we've ever seen it, though. We definitely need to get some rain or some people are going to yell at me. Snow. Definitely need a decent snowfall this year to rebuild our. Uh, our water supply because we are not good right now. Those ones I saw from the parking lot they still have some leaves on them. Oh, that breeze. I'm glad I put this, uh, this hoodie on. Speaking of hoodies, those of you who have been around the channel long enough know I do um, sort of like to kind of, I want to, I guess I would say advertise, free advertise for you know, the different brands that I believe in. I've had, I have a GoPro hoodie. I've had, you know, different Sony hats and stuff like that. Can never find, I have the Apple hoodie and Apple t-shirt. I did have an Apple polo or an Apple button down at one point too. Sorry, got interrupted there by Boom Boom. Um, 
So, you know, I, I'll wear like apparel with brands I trust, Apple and I DJI back in the, or I, I've been looking for DJI. I don't, I've never bought anything off AliExpress, but they have a, basically a whole sweatsuit, pants and a hoodie. Uh, and it's just very inexpensive. It's like $18 or something. It's like we're going down Christmas lane here. Um, I'll show you in a minute. So yeah, it's like 18 bucks. I think I would, if I, if I could, I'd do the white and the black. The pants are always black and they've got a DJI logo on them. I might wear them to bed or something. Cause I actually did put my Under Armour pants on last night. I was, I was so cold from last night cause it was like 32 degrees up there where we went to shoot the night photos. I didn't film anything cause it was so dark and I was so cold. I just wasn't messing with it. Um, yeah, I've been trying to find, you know, a hoodie that's DJI logoed and, uh, that's what I was getting at. And I think I found one, but I, if anybody's ever dealt with AliExpress, let me know. Cause between them and team you, I don't trust either one of them. I don't know what the quality is going to be like. I don't think it's actual official because DJI only has a few things that, that are official. There's a lot of like ones that say drone on them. I really don't want, I just want the DJI logo. Hell, I could just print one and put it on something, but not quite the same. Yeah, so over at this park, they, they uh, do decorate for Christmas and stuff. And they've got like a rope here with Christmas lights on it. That tree over here, this little one's got lights on it. They light the ball field fence and stuff. I know we saw it the one year after the fact. So we'll have to stop back over Christmas time and maybe take a walk. It might have to be an evening walk. Of course, with daylight ending, I mean, we got home last night. It was pitch freaking black, as you saw in the video. Yeah, that 2.7K was a little on the grainy side last night. I think what we might do here is pocket three on the way out, action five, just a little bit maybe on the way back. I don't know. That tree's got a couple lights on it, just not much. This one here. Yeah, the pavilion's got icicle lights all the way around. And speaking of, Terry went through the uh, clearance Halloween section today and found an like a spider web set of lights for a dollar fifty. I'm like, well, I can decorate the fence better next year. <laughs> so, yeah, was, lady's walking and she's giving me like the weirdest look because I'm talking to the camera at the time. Eventually, after maybe about ten years, I should be just you know immune to people looking at me funny recording myself. But I don't know. It's more of the fact that I don't want to you know interrupt their lifestyle and put them on video this camera and the background blur but like with adventures with tim and mike and stuff that's where the action comes in handy because this blurs the person behind you whereas the action five does not boy that wind is blowing i am so so glad i put this hoodie on this thing is nice and thick too since i've lost weight i fit it and i think i've stopped losing weight now <laughs> of course when i have my i haven't eaten today that's my other problem. I'm feeling a little, little nauseous, to be honest with you, because I have not eaten today. So, that's my stupidity. But I'm looking forward to my, to my Big Mac. Not my Whopper, my Big Mac. Yeah, I gotta wait until I think January until my next Whopper, because there's like quarterly. I think you get a free one, but you have to make a dollar purchase. Where at McDonald's, I'm just gonna use six thousand points and get a free one, and enjoy it. It's not my favorite sandwich in the world. I prefer a double quarter pounder with cheese deluxe but hey a free sandwich is a free sandwich did we pass the spot that's always rapid i don't know if we have yet or not oh yeah, it's just it's just all rocks and some leaves let's leave some leaves in there Oh, I think it's up here is the spot that I can never really get to because of the the brush. Yeah, it's it's drained. It's drained because right here's the yeah, here's the spot where it kind of actually flows. There's a secondary channel that goes around here when it's in high water. It's barely running through the normal channel right now. And it's, like I said, this is a nice level, easy path for little turd here. Cause uh, yesterday that got a little little hairy going through those woods through the, the flood debris is that oh it's up here I, I'm 
it looks so different with there being no water in it, it's hard to actually see. It is, certain spots are moving pretty good. Uh, yeah, my Buffalo Bills held on off against Miami yesterday to win. Normally, back in the day, Buffalo would win Miami and Miami would win in Buffalo. But lately, Buffalo's kind of had their number. At least, uh, what's his name, didn't get another concussion yesterday. Tackle Voga. So, oh, we got a little dog coming. I'm going to put you away for a minute. Little baby Shih Tzu. Cute little guy or girl. I'm not sure which. Can't tell by their colors. <laughs> and the little dogs, it's really hard to tell. I mean, you can't see any anything dangling or not dangling. So, Never have come over to this pool. Kind of thought about it last in the summertime, but then it all slips in my brain. I don't know what you ha if you have to have like a pass or whatnot. See, this is well, this is way bigger than Southside's pool used to be. We just they just had like a Olympic straight on pool where this got like different zones. There was like a little kitty section, but all right, go over this little bridge here, make our way down to the end. And then, oh, see what, I don't think there's going to be any, anything major going on in that section either. Uh, actually, you know what? I will get the Action 5 out in that one section because I can actually get the camera over top or inside there, even though there's really no water. Oh, they got this with bars across and lights on it. Oh, that's, this is going to be really cool. Yeah, this, this is the apartment complex I was talking about a while back too. It's like you have, you don't have your own door. You literally have common entryway into each section of the building. So if you buy groceries, say you're one of those cars parked in that parking lot, you got to walk to whatever door, and the further away you are, the more of a pain in the, you know what it is. Hey, guess what? That is a pole. It does not move. And you're wearing a rope. Good girl. You made your way around it. You get very confused with objects that don't move and wrapping your leash around it. Sorry, I went I spaced out. There is something over here walking around in the woods. I don't see anything. Yeah, we, we saw a few pretty good sized deer last night. I hear stepping. It could be a squirrel, but it sounded bigger. Oh, but, whoop. there he is. I see him. He's shaking his tail at me right now. Let's see if we can get closer to him. I did change the iPhone over to ProRes again. Where is he? I don't know. I think he vanished now. He went up. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm standing there and all of a sudden I'm hearing because I didn't know. But yeah, last night there was a huge buck that walked right to the edge of the road. Dude, I was going home super slow last night. Speed limit 70. I was going like 60, if that. I was actually down into the low 50s at points where there was no guardrail for them to jump. I was going much slower. Yeah, they got little, they got bars going across. This thing, PVC. See, I'm not, I'm not silly about making, making a... Uh, patio thing out of PVC. You can do a lot of things with that stuff. It's just, it got very expensive very fast when I started calculating prices. And this is actually a dog park over here, which you can see how busy it is. And he's going to go on that side, so i got to bring sure Priya comes on this side of it too. Even though it's low enough, I can get the line over. I don't know where you're facing even here, bud. There you go. The other thing to mention about these lovely apartments, I'm sure they're absolutely beautiful, um, but they are outrageous expensive. I think it's like over $1,200 a month for a, I think it might even be a one bedroom because Terry looked into it before she moved where we, did, we live now for her one bedroom. Uh, yeah, these are super, super expensive places. And you have basically, I'm guessing you're like, each floor is your apartment. So it looks like they have three stories. So that's all the living, that's all the outdoor space you have is just these little balconies. 
So you'd want to be upstairs and you're facing that. You really don't get much of a view. I don't, ee, yeah, that would just be, that'd be god awful. So not only do you have to carry your groceries through the parking lot, but then you have to go all the way up, say you live on the third floor to get the best view. Then you gotta carry them up three flights of stairs. No thanks. I'm good. I like where we live. Better than her other apartment, the one bedroom upstairs. That sucked when we go to freaking surplus outlet and have to bring all that stuff home. You know, this is just, this is, there's nothing here water-wise. I don't know why I'm filming it. This is the section they had redone back a couple years now. It's been since we saw that and they had this all dug up. Grass is still growing back in. Not much, not much going on here. I don't think there's, I don't think I'm even getting the Action 5 out. There's really nothing to show. That wind is uh, not, it, the sun is helping. If Mr. Sun wasn't out right now and it was a cloudy day, I'd probably be frozen. And the hand warmers are on the chargers. Come on, Bree. Come on. Yo, we're going. Come on. She's like, no, I don't want to. Really? What are you doing? Oh, are you scratching or are you rubbing your butt? What are you doing? Come on, Bassett. Oh, I'm on 5X. We got a leaf tornado. Oh, no! There you are. Soaring around the sky, no breeze. Why, why, why is your phone valuable? Zoom. <laughs> there was a loud ass plane that went through, but I don't know where he was. I never could see him. And then the leaf tornado went off, and I was on 5X for the, for the plane I couldn't find. All right, we have made it to the end. Make our way back. McDonald's sheets and home. I think I'm going to call it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. You got two of them. Let's see if I can make this thing not freeze this time. I know it's not going to be super stable, guys. I'm going to try to stabilize it in post. All right, you know we're going to go on him. And we'll switch over to you. If they just had stabilization, the Ford app would be an amazing tool. Amazing tool. Maybe that's how they get away with the 20X. It's really 15 because it's not cropping, because there's no stabilization. I'll see what happens when I put it into uh, Final Cut and run under stabilization, see what, what, how bad it makes it. We'll give it a try. If we can fix the footage, I will use it. So I need to test it.